Hello YouTube, welcome back to another guide video. This time we're covering one of the topics that's uh, been very popular on this channel. One of the very early videos for Kantai that I did, that being Oral Cruising. Now, since the implementation of Phase 2, and I'm going to go ahead and show a very quick run for the old style, 2-3, uh, Oral Bay farming method. This was used to farm fuel and ammo. I can still try as I'm about to show you. Fleet with submarines, three this time, much like what you would have used in the old method of coral cruising. We'll guarantee you this open notice. Now the problem with using this method now is that the enemies on this map, World 2-3, are now equipped with actual anti-sub gear, so we'll see if that becomes a problem. Destroyers, or this destroyer over here, does come equipped with some anti-sub, so you do have to be careful. So we can retreat, um, not go through the Yasen, and we can continue on to one of the resource nodes. Once again, much like you did in the past, you want to try and avoid as much as possible using any aircraft carrying submarines because they do cost a little bit more in terms of fuel. So for efficiency's sake, you do want as much as possible not to use them. Okay, now every node or every marker on this map is going to be completely random. In this case, we lucked out and went to two of the resources. And we're going to go ahead and hit node K. Now once again, we'll go ahead and take a look at whether this composition ends up holding out. Looking at the composition on this node, once again we have a couple of destroyers that had anti-sub capabilities, so that's what makes this map so much more challenging compared to what it used to be. So I'm going to go ahead and retreat from this map, C rank, that's okay. You need to be careful um, if you're going to use this old method because that can impact your overall uh, win rate, which can be a problem with events if you're not careful. Now let's check our burn. How much did we use? 12 fuel, 24 ammo. I did receive the res uh, bonus from those resource nodes because even with retreating because I did go through that next battle. We'll fill that in. And for now, we'll move on to another method of farming. This one for fuel. I'm gonna go and pull off a different fleet. This fleet, we're gonna go ahead and take over to World 1 3. Now you might be thinking, why World 1 3? 2 3 is clearly more efficient, and well, that may be true in some cases because you don't spend as much on repairs. I'm gonna show off what this route does. Now this composition is on the weekly. If I have a fleet Oyama right here, 
I guarantee this north route. There's an empty node, and this should take me straight to here. Okay, now I've got a yield of 62. This can vary slightly. So you do need to keep in mind that this is not a consistent number. Okay, so I do have to go through this battle because of uh, the rules on how the map works. I'm just going to go double line. Now the reason you actually have to fight this no, is because if you retreat or refresh the page before this, you're not actually going to get that fuel bonus. So we would have sacrificed uh, the 62 fuel. So we'll go through this number, but it's not very challenging. So luckily, even with the equipment that I have, I'm going to go into this battle. So this is not a tremendous problem. Okay, battle over, we'll go ahead and retreat. Okay. So I did get my bonus. I had a, a hundred and nineteen thousand four hundred and fifty nine before this, so I did get the sixty two fuel. So let's take a look at what kind of cost this. So as you can see, it only costs about 20, uh, 20 fuel, 23 ammo, which unfortunately we cannot recover using this method. And if I go to my repairs, and we ignore um, my submarines here, Michi Shield took a little bit of a scratch. That's going to cost actually no fuel, but it is going to take a steal away from me. Okay, now for the equipment. Load it up as much as possible with as many Daihatsus and amphibious tanks as possible. I will say that I do have two drums on here. I can fill those with actual Daihatsus. Now, one thing worth noting is that the 11th Regiment, this item right here, does not actually count as a bonus for those resource nodes. You cannot use this. That's why this is sitting over here. Some of my Daihatsus are still out on expedition, that's why I have two drum cans in here. Those are possible if you do not have this amount of Daihatsus and tanks. Keep in mind that with this current fleet, you're going to have to have 18 total Daihatsus, including your tanks, in order to have a complete set of equipment. That's going to give you the maximum amount of yield, no matter what resource roll you have. I believe the node over there actually goes somewhere between uh, the wiki says it's anywhere from 10, 15, or 20 fuel at random. And of course, the equipment bonus does apply. Okay, so that pretty much settles this video. Once again, if you have any comments or questions, Go ahead and list them down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and until next time.